Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus and Buddhist Air Bob play Hearts of Iron 3. We left off last episode with me um, getting into a bit of a, a kerfuffle with China over the Marco Polo Bridge, and Bob getting into a bit of a kerfuffle with the Poles for being Poles. Look, Laban's Realm waits for no man. Uh, Bob, jumpstart, well, I want to say jumpstart World War II, but it's not World War II yet, and considering the Allies have not... Okay, you know, apparently Poland wasn't guaranteed yet. I've never actually seen this happen, so I don't know how this is going to affect the game. I don't know if Bob's going to get the Anschluss in the treaties or what, but it's interesting. I, <laughs> I'm i very interested to see how this unfolds. Danzig must be retaken now. If not now, then never. <laughs> Convoy Raiders. Uh, yeah, create them. Petrol rationing. Uh, yeah, ration that shit. I, I could use all the petrol uh, that you could give me, because I'm Japan. And that is a thing that I need. Yeah, we're actually doing pretty good here. Pretty good. So, uh, let's keep blasting through these lines. Uh, two divisions. Keep the pressure up. Two divisions. Keep the pressure up. Don't let them... Don't let them... Reorganize. Support attack in the rear. So, uh, don't forget about support attack. Super useful. Yeah, I've already got that down. I'm going Good. for it right now. Communist guerrillas. Supplies? I'm going to take the lose one descent. Okay, I don't know what's going on in this, so i got to read more of this here. i got to pause this. Because the, the, first, the first two sentences are, are thus. Hitler meets with Himmler. One bright morning, Himmler and Hitler go for a stroll in the local woodlands. Hitler is particularly interested in a fresh batch of truffles. <laughs> this is the first two sentences, so i got to figure out what's going on here. Hitler Please, is brought alone be, be, a number of, brought alone, should be brought along a number of pigs, which he assures the fear are excellent truffle hunters. They stop under a huge oak and talk shop. Yep, how do we exterminate Jews? That's definitely talking shop with these two. <laughs> Himmler complains at length about the endless revolts and threat of partisans. What are you talking about? We have been at war for like less than a week. There hasn't been any dissent. No one's popped up anywhere. <laughs> like, what do you... It seems they're nowhere safe from infiltrators and saboteurs. I don't know what you're talking about. We are literally storming over the Polish border and everything is fine. Hitler promises to give Himmler greater access to local military forces and better anti-partisan training. Okay, so what is actually happening here? So national revolt risk goes down, but I see efficiency goes down. What are the numbers? So minus four national revolt risk, and then minus fifteen percent IC efficiency for production. Pretty significant hit. That is a pretty significant hit. And is it forever? This is until September nineteen thirty seven. So one one month from now. Oh, uh, that's not a big deal. Um, Which I don't know where this, like, sir, there's partisans everywhere. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, we've just stepped over the border. It's like, there's, what? The first Polacks we saw were angry that we were here. <laughs> the dancing I don't understand, yes, sir. We will, we, will, we will pocket dancing like nobody's business right now. Okay. And what I do remember is that you can't trust the actual number indicator. You actually got to look at the organization in yeah. the battle for the troops there. If, if it says 0 or 99, chances are it's wrong. Um, most of the yeah. time, the other numbers are fine, like the mid-ranges. But if it says something really high or really low, generally it's going to be wrong. Just because there's so I think it's just because there's so many modifiers at play um, that a lot of times they kind of tick over to the other end because there's too much. I've sunk two tri Chinese transport ships, and then I believe that was the majority of their navy. Good, good job. <laughs> I think they got a heavy cruiser somewhere. Is speed three okay? Because that's generally the... I think we could do speed three. That's usually an okay... <laughs> All the poles are running away into what will be a nice little pocket at Warsaw, I'm sure, so... Another major victory. F uh, 600 losses for 10,000 dead Chinamen. Well, they're they're attacking like my elite troops with gar with the garrisons and conscripts. Yeah, that's about the right numbers. Okay, now things are happening. All right, I might need to slow. I I, I, I might need to slow down now because there's so many pop ups now. Okay. 
All right, yep, two there. Probably just one division there. And then the rest need to start fanning out. Yeah, they just, they're really trying to hit my uh, my elite troops, which are crossing a river into a mountain. Most suicidal thing I think I've ever seen was Russia attacking across the Don River in the middle of winter in a blizzard into a city. I think it was like, I, I think they lost something like 200,000 men for every German killed, and I'm sure those were like accidents. It was pretty horrendously suicidal. <laughs> So where are you invading here? Are you just moving in from the north? Yeah. I'm well, you, you also did a naval landing, it looks like, yeah, too, right? I did a naval landing, too. And that one's just starting to get, in the, get starting to get those troops moving. Well, if I have, if I can effectively break the game, we can take on the Soviet Union early. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. Where are my battleships? Because I need those for... Battleship things. Shore bombardment is really is, is something that's very very important. Shore bombardment can give you a really nice boat boost to uh to some attack potential. Like, what do we got here? Yeah, so that's a that's a pretty poor attack we got going. Let's throw some ships into it and see what the fuck happens. Or maybe uh, support attack from the flank a little. Support attack. Uh, let's just flank him. Let's get a flank on. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Kind of, kind of breached the, the the Chinese lines. The resistance has crumbled. Didn't it's sound like, like they wanted it too bad. Yeah, I, I would really appreciate not going to war with the Soviet Union right now because I don't have Mongolia garrisoned. Well, I didn't say right now, man. I'm not even well, in Warsaw well, yet. I, mean, well, I, I, I still have, like, the last multiplayer game we have ringing in my head where it was just like, Hey, Ben, we're at war now. Enjoy. Oh, well, EVE e 4 8 late game is a different beast. Uh, you can't hold me responsible <laughs> for what happens at the end of an EVE 4 game. Well, I mean, you can't hold me responsible. But well, I mean, like, the 50 years previous to that, where it's just like, you're being called into war. What? But have free prestige. Ah, we sank a couple more transports. Damn Chinese. You can, so after you've initiated an attack and you're in that cooldown period, you can still move around in territory that you effectively own or occupy without penalty, right? Ah, I don't remember. Okay, let's find out. Where is it? Where's that next angry person? Um, I don't see them. Oh, they they rose up directly underneath me. Yeah, rivers are really easy to cross when there's no opposition. <laughs> if they don't fight back, it's really easy to beat them. I feel like there's subtext here that's going to be made in the comments on that one. <laughs> All right, let's get these guys. The armored cars have, ar have arrived. A little deploy, late for the combat. Deploy the fascist militia. Oh, you got fascist militia? I got fascist militia. We can have fascist militia together. Shang-Chi and... Oh. Oh, my puppet got, My puppet state got annexed, Bob. Shang-Chi annexed my puppet. Now I have to kill them. Hey, Binks, what are you doing here? I know you want me to pet you, but I'm doing stuff. I'm killing Chinaman. <laughs> Again, subtext. <laughs> How much you want to bet someone's going to object to me using the phrase Chinaman? I I, I imagine they will. Uh, I am not politically correct in any way. Just the way I like to be. Offensive to all. All right, how you doing? Okay, good. Yes, those garrisons. Kill them. Ah, oh, nice. The Marines are about to take another port. Oh, Binks, you, your butt smells. You probably just took a poop. <laughs> I don't... Thanks, cat. 
Yeah, I don't know why this cat likes to sit in my lap after he dumps. Oh man, so yesterday like I couldn't make the the RPG yeah. group, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I, I I get home, I uh, go upstairs, which you know it's, I work I work out of our bedroom is is what I do, a bunch of my wife's chagrin, you know. Mm -hmm. Um and I leave, go down so I'm heading down the stairs. Now the cats love to hang out on the stairs because reasons, because it's dark there, stuff like that. The cat I stepped on was black. Now this is not like uncommon for me to step on these cats. Like my, my roommates are well aware of this and stuff. They're in Europe right now, however. What? And I, well, they're they're in Europe. They're like trekking around the the Baltic. They're going to like Norway, Sweden, Estonia, so on and so forth. They're doing things. I'm, they are. So like my wife is kind of taking care of the cats, but you know she's at work and all that stuff. So and I'm stepping on the cat, which is not a common occur, you know, occurrence still here that that happens, you know. Step in the cat. This time, the cat is acting like it can't walk, like at all. It is oh, acting yeah. like I've broken. It's like it's hind legs, which is when Bob starts freaking out. That's when I called you. <laughs> it's just and like, like oh, I, got I killed an animal. Event. It's. I was freaking out a little bit. I was just like, because they just left and they're gonna be gone all the way through the end of July. I I was struggling with as as I was driving to the vet. I was just like, oh shit, what do I what do I do if this cat is in fact gonna have to be put down? <laughs> Do I have to do I have to call them while they're in fucking Europe for another three weeks to tell them that their cat's dead? Like what do I do? Oh boy. I did not have a good day yesterday. See what I, I what what, what I imagined was was that uh uh basically what would happen is they would come back and the cat would be walking around with one of those like wheelie legs. <laughs> like where it pulls itself around on like a little like cat uh cat wheelchair. That's kind of what I was thinking. No, but I it, the the hind legs are just sprained. That's all that happened to it. So I was just like, oh, thank God. My animals like to be a little melodramatic when they get hurt. Like uh, the other day, Penny was chasing around one of the cats, and one of the cats, Binks, the one in my lap right now, he really likes the the dog. They're they're buddies. They hang out all the time. They play. They sleep together and they cuddle and they spoon. And the other cat hates her fucking guts. So she was chasing around the cat that didn't like her, getting really getting really energetic and you know she's an 18 month old golden retriever and her energy is all she got and the cat swiped at her and the dog yelped and came running over and crying and just being like completely melodramatic and i'm like look at her she holds she i'm looking at her face like did she get you in the eye or something the dog holds up her paw and is like is like like meekly holding me like holding her paw to me i'm looking at her paws like there's no blood you're absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with you. And she's just sitting there whimpering and crying and crying and whimpering. And I looked at her. I was like, Penny, you're fine. And I gave her a hug. And she starts wagging her tail and ran off. And so she was just like, yeah, I'm cool. I just wanted some attention. <laughs> just completely melodramatic. All right. Uh, fascist militia. How about you go uh, attack these guys? Throw yourself at their lines. Uh, do your thing. Don't care if you live or die. Yep, still at war with just Poland. I think I, I managed to circumvent the whole having to fight France and Britain at the same time. That's that's interesting. I've never done that. You just gotta start World War II early, or just, you know, make war early. I normally start it early, just not that. I usually wait for the, the at least the, I at least schluss before I, before I Krieg. You, you just gotta Krieg. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't put that wait stuff. around for the schluss. You just gotta go right into the Krieg. You, you just gotta go right to Krieg. Now, see, from now on, now whenever I say the word Krieg, all I can all I can think is you doing uh, Jeff Glodeblum in, in Jurassic Park. Ian Krieg! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's like multiple layers of like inside yeah. joke going on. Yeah, that, I'm not is, sure anybody's going to get. That's deep. <laughs> it's like some jokeception going on right there. <laughs> Uh, what we were talking about in my Discord yesterday, uh, after the Sergeyception, was the um, uh, the fact that a lot of the, the the phrases and sayings that you guys do end up getting attributed to me just because I have the largest viewing audience. Like, um, well, them's the breaks. Yeah, like, uh, what, what was it? Um, it's almost like it's not a finished game. That is one hundred percent attributed to me, and one hundred percent Roach. He's the one who said that and made it up. But everybody True. attributes it to me. Which I think is pretty humorous. 
Or uh, so, some Bob-isms have gotten attributed to me, and I'm like, no, I never said that. That was Bob. Well, we're the same person, you know. Yeah, that, that's also that's also the uh, the uh, the running theories that Bob and I I and well that I am also Bob because I wanted to you know double down on my viewership, really rake in those uh, fractions of pennies per views. So I just made up a uh, <laughs> multiple multiple personality kind of situation. Yeah, there's not there's not a whole lot of resistance uh, in in the Chinese and the in the other Chinese um, uh, allied states. Man, the, the 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 if you stack up a bunch of battleships offshore, they really wreck an enemy. <laughs> well, like I like, was attached like saturation howitzer fire offshore, like hurts people. No way. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> no, well compared to Hoi Four, where it's almost not where. Um, a shore bombardment is a difficult to achieve and b almost non-existent in terms of modifiers. Okay, if I were an interceptor, where would I be? Uh, someplace near the Polish bombers. Oh wait, there's the outliner I could just go to. Hmm, it's almost like it's a, it's almost like it's a working game. Well, I don't know. I had a hard time deploying all those infantry. Divisions. Okay, okay. Well, let's just that's just a little bug, a little bit of a little bug. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That was just a little. Oh, are they all out now? Did they all deploy before war was declared? Yes. Nah, you're fine. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have declared war otherwise. But didn't. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, some forward progress. That's okay. the kind of progress I like to make. The kind that goes forward. Formation of the Second Army Corps. Yes. Let's form it. Kind of glad I decided to keep that cab around and actually bolster it a little because it's providing uh, some good some good flanking support. Flanky, flanky. What's that you say? Encirclement? Uh, as long as you're Polish people, then it's cool. I do believe that's an encirclement. These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> gulags. No, you're 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 German. You're not gulag. It's not. No, it's not. That's the wrong thing. How did you even get that out of that? That, that was I, I. I got a lot of Soviet border to look over here. It's on the brain. Now, let's see. What is the? Yeah, shore bombardment is right. The storming our beaches. What? Oh. They launched a naval invasion, Bob. To to where? Uh, I don't like Okinawa area. See where this is? That's that's around where Okinawa is, right? Jima, Okinawa is this north of Taiwan? Well, Taiwan, right? Well, it's it's the island uh, to the east of Taiwan, Nago. I don't um, see any. I don't see any Chinese over there. Well, I've or got. They're trying to land right now. Yeah, they're trying to land right now. Um, there is a garrison there, and I do have aircraft carriers on the way uh, for support. So, they they's fucked. Actually, do my uh, do my planes have the range to get there now? Naval strike. Yup, send them out. Send the launch the <laughs> launch the planes. Vroom. How are they doing? Ah! <laughs> ah! Yes, drowned you fuckers! Ah, drowned in your own blood. <clears throat> I'm okay. I'm okay. Round two. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, yeah, we're sinking all of them. Province lost. Rebel uprising. Oh, that's why I was losing province, because I had a bunch of uh, vent fired uprisings. All right, where are they? All right, they're like behind my lines. That's that that screw you. I hate that. I hate event fired doodles. That thingy. Um, yes, attack him. <laughs> In other words, <laughs> you attack that guy. 
I'm 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 good. I have the best Bob, I have the best words, you know this. I I have all of the words. I have the best words, Bob. Man, that was a lot funnier before it was a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hurts a little on the inside. Battle of the Restaurant where you can see. They lost Avi Cruiser. Okay, I got my guys all set up now. They're still still trying to invade, even though I've completely wrecked their fleet, which was two two cruisers and two uh, destroyers and a transport ship. How you guys doing? Attack! <laughs> Link the fronts! Release the river! Is that Lord of the Rings? It is. It is uh, Treebeard. Attacking Isengard. Oh no! What? What? <laughs> Error, game is no longer in sync. Well, whoa, that's 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 not good. Uh, True story. Well, we will save then. What are we in? 21 minutes. Did you want to just... How do you want to do this one? Why don't we just call this a short episode and okay. reload? Okay. Okay, well, thank you for watching, folks. Uh, apologies for a two-thirds length episode, but there are mechanical issues to deal with, and uh, considering we're bulk recording this stuff, it's just easier to end the episode and start a new one. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. See you later.